Which is more important, justice or mercy? Mercy. Mm. I go mercy. People get caught up in justice. Like it's it's your reaction to things. Let let it go. I mean, whatever the thing is that happened to you, you want to spend the rest of your life trying to get justice. What does that mean? Like, go make, go build, forgive, and move on. Yeah, you have to put that in context for me. I'm stuck here with video because there's some people that do things out here that justice is the only right thing for them. And and some people out here they make mistakes or they don't mean to harm people. Or they just do things for whatever reason. Okay, but but, but hold on. Go. What uh, what's your worst case scenario? Okay, say someone um 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 do a drunk driving incident and they and they run over someone. Okay, you know. So, so, so mercy you. Is not gonna, mercy is not going to solve that. It, it, there's just to be justice. You just murder someone's mother, sister, brother, whoever. Yeah, but how does that? How does that? Like, what? What does justice mean to you? What's that going to help? Well, it, it would help prevent. Uh, it would help um, prevent uh, it happening in the future, and also, I mean, there should be consequences for our actions. Well, but yeah, that's different than justice. Yeah. What, so well, what's justice? What's to clarify because well, what's no? What, what's justice for you? So okay, so you're someone close to you. Evan Carmichael gets hit by a drunk driver and dies. Oh, dude, ain't no mercy for that. I'm coming after him. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not. I. I. I, I there's no forgiveness, man. They, I gotta go after him. That's what, just the but, way but, it is. but no, I what think. Is that, what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? I think that's poison. I think that's poison. I think you just. Well, you, I don't know, a, no, one, no one messes with Evan, okay? Nobody. Not, I mean, I feel, I feel the love, but I think that's poison. I think if, if you just now. How long does it take to now go fi- to find the person, to try them, to everything, and how much how much negativity and poison does that create? And but now. I, I'm great. So awesome. The person goes to jail. person who killed me is now in jail. How does that make your life any better? Right, but if that person doesn't, um, if there's no consequence for that person, actually they could do it again to somebody else. Uh, it's not that there's no that the, the, that there's no consequences. That, that, that would be justice. This person needs to be punished for what they did. If you don't punish that person, it's like a serial, a, it's like a serial rapist. If you don't punish them, they can continue doing what they're doing. No, I think so I think put a stop to that. If you listen to how emotional you are about it, it's more about. Uh, the, the word justice is charged in a very unhealthy way. Okay. It's not just about facing consequences. It's like, no, this person has to pay. And, and, and you spending the next two years of your life chasing that person down and taking the trial, it, it, for me, is, is like the greatest dishonor to my name and reputation that you could okay. ever do. Like, I would much rather you go and live your life. If you want to turn that into, you want to go be Candace Leitner, who started Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Okay. Right? Like, you want to turn. Which is one example we're using. But when we say justice and mercy, we're talking across the board. So someone can go in, rob a bank, murder people inside the bank, take the money and go. There should be no justice for that? No, but what's justice? Should they they go to jail for their thing? Sure. If a person violates your human rights as a a person, there should be, if, if you don't, if you don't provide justice, that person will continue to violate the human rights of other people. No, but that that, person, that's not what it's, a, that's, that's almost never what it's about. That's the cover that people use to feel good about hurting somebody who hurt them back. That's the problem. Okay, but shouldn't we be responsible for our actions and our words and the things that we do? Sure. Okay, then, then that would be, if it is, so if you're going to hold a person accountable and responsible for the things that they say and do, especially as an adult. We're not talking about children here. There are, there are people out there who plot and plan to do bad things to other people. And if they don't, if they don't receive or face any justice, they, we're almost condoning that behavior from them to continue doing that to other people. So whether it's robbing a bank, violating someone's human rights, drunk drivers, like, okay, I'm gonna drink anyways. Even though it's against the law to drink and drive, they're gonna get drunk because whatever other issues that they have, which is not our problem that they have those issues, that they can have those issues and still come and wreak havoc on our lives and we're not doing nothing wrong with innocent. And it's okay for them to do that. So there should be mercy, maybe mercy after the, the, the justice has been served, but there should be justice. If not, liars, thieves, there's, killers, murderers can do whatever they want to. There's so much better use of your time than going after one person. 
so much better. Let alone the negativity and poison that's created inside you. Going after the guy who killed Evan Carmichael in a drunk driving accident is is not the best use of your energy. Can Should he be tried? Sure. Am I just saying, hey, let him off? No. But most people use justice as a way for punishment. It's punishment. As if that punishment is going to make you feel any better. You, you actually want to stop drunk driving? There's so many more things that you should do, so many better things you can do for the planet, for humanity, than to punish the guy who killed Evan Carmichael in a drunk driving accident. So if you want to get on the high horse and say, no, we need to, we need to fix this problem, it means a lot to me, I want people to attack it in a much more uh, proactive and healthy way. Because sending that one guy to jail doesn't really do anything. You think sending one guy to jail for killing Evan Carmichael in a drunk driving accident is going to really prevent somebody else the next day from yes. doing the same thing? No, no. The answer is yes, because no. Because it's that not. person would see that, that 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 particular act is punishment. Because human beings, and this is good, because let's see if you agree or disagree on this. Human beings are driven by fear. They're driven by punishment and reward, pain and pleasure. If you do not. If you reward a bad action, you are technically encouraging them to keep doing it. I'm not, who's rewarding? Nobody's rewarding. Because if, if there's no justice, then they are being rewarded. Now, in my case, if someone did something to you, <laughs> I probably would go after them personally, but that's another story. But I would definitely get a lawyer to go after them. We would, we would definitely charge them with the, you know, the law. You, you have to take a bigger picture view. And here, Jim and I read a, made a great comment saying, I'm confused. You're confusing justice with vengeance, she writes. Like, no, I'm not. That's that's what most people are. This is the problem. When when people, this is why I said justice is a charged word, because they, they say justice, but they want vengeance. That's what most people put, that's, that's what it is. Like going after one person, instead of actually trying to fix the problem, you want to fix drunk driving, sending one person to jail and spending three years of your life being tortured all over again and again and again and again, it's not going to be the answer. Okay, then, okay, so Evan, when a person does that, or a person robs a bank, or a person rapes a woman, or violates a person's human and civil rights, then what should happen to that person? Mercy? I think if somebody has had their rights violated, you can still, it doesn't mean you just never try them. You never go after them. You never try to do anything. I think people just get caught up way too much on the vengeance side instead of actually trying to solve the problem. If you want to heal, the answer is mercy. Uh, if, totally if that's happened to you, then the answer is mercy. Chasing somebody down is not going to make you feel better. It just won't. The answer is mercy. But I, I, okay, let me say it this way. Let me let me just let me go on the other side. I think what you are saying is that you're talking about more on a personal side, so you can have no, no, um, no, no, no. On on a mass, if you want to solve that problem, but it's the perpetrator who is a criminal. They should not be punished. I didn't say they shouldn't be punished. I know that. I, I'm sure that that's what I'm saying. I don't want people to confuse us. Evan is not saying that the criminal should just commit a crime and get away with it. So you're saying something different. You're saying you as an individual should have mercy and maybe understanding and empathy because that person, for whatever reason, did this, you know, and they need, they need more mercy and uh, understanding and forgiveness, right? Hold on, hold on. Say it again. Okay, you're saying that, you're not saying, because I want people to be clear, because we can disagree and agree, but, um, you're not saying that the, the criminal, because that person's committed a criminal act. If yep. a person robs a bank, rapes, rapes, rapes someone, or do pedoph pedophilia, or drunk driving, or violates your human rights, that's a criminal. They have, they, they, it's a criminal act. Mm -hmm. Whether they're terrorizing you, whatever. We have laws against that. Mm -hmm. You're not saying that that person should not be, have justice and the law brought against them. You're saying you as an individual, who, by, you can't, your solution would be have mercy, have forgiveness. I'm just saying that even you as an individual, with, by that by that by that person by that person being um, uh, brought to law and justice, it prevents other people who may have those twisted thoughts to do something. So it, it's a, it is a solution. It's 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 not a solution. No, like like you just it's it's wrong. The Okay. The, the, okay. Let me try this last time. Okay. No, no, but go go through it. Like, what's the problem? So, so what's okay. the problem with 
You think the problem with drunk driving? Look, like, take take drunk driving. You think the problem with drunk driving? That's what I want them to clarify. It. Okay, so but, the problem with anything, the problem with people do mass shootings here in America. They should not be punished. You let them go, and there's no justice. I didn't say let them go, but again, when you are saying justice, it's being charged as vengeance. You're not solving a problem. Sending that person to jail, yes, send them to jail. You're still not solving the problem. You're putting it in the mask. You, you know what, Marilyn Manson, uh, I forget which, it might have been Columbine, I forget, the one of the shootings. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Uh, Marilyn Manson, the guy who killed, who went and did all the shooting in the school, he went uh -huh. in and was playing Marilyn Manson music, right? right? And so they, some, somebody interviewed Marilyn Manson and said, hey, uh, somebody was listening to your music while they were, like just before they went and did this thing, what would your message be to them? And he said, I would listen to them. Okay. Rick, this is the problem. Oh, right. Okay. So. Okay. But. Okay. So you listen to them, and they and they have these crazy beliefs, crazy thoughts. They have this idea of genocide or want to murder, kill, and be suicidal, oppressed, whatever. But at the same time, they did the act. The act. So you can't take that back. You cannot take back those people that that, that, that person murdered. You, they, not, they can't listen to nobody else. They can't go to their prom. They can't have a family. They can't have a, a long life. They can't hang out here like we're hanging out here. They're gone forever. And, that, and even though you might want to listen to that person, whether it was on drugs or whatever the situation might have been, this, we as human beings, there should be consequences for the choices but that we then, nobody said there's no con but, nobody said no consequences. Okay. You, if you want to solve that problem, sending one person to jail doesn't solve the problem. But we have to, okay, okay, so what, what, then what should we do then? You get to the root of the problem by listening, by actually having some mercy, by trying to understand people. Like, if anything, the current status, the climate in the U.S. should be an indication of how divided people are. Because people are in constant rage mode, not listening to each other, constantly on the lookout for vengeance to, to prove the other person wrong. Okay. So it doesn't mean that if you break the law, you don't go to jail. But if you had to, ask, what's more important, mercy or or justice, was the question? Yes, right. And, and maybe that's why I wanted to clarify it more because maybe we have maybe they have a different definition of justice and mercy. My thing is this: if, like you're saying, if if someone did something to you, it's going to take a long time for me to like be forgiving. Because I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna, am I gonna, I, do, I want revenge. Yeah, I want revenge. I know you say, oh, don't be, I want revenge. But that's what needs to be fixed. Yes, but, but right hey, now, so here's the no, no, but no, but not right now. That like because everybody's triggered and constantly in revenge mode. When you can now say, I'm not, I don't want revenge anymore, and and now let's go for justice. Then I'm with you. The problem well, is, okay. it's not justice. It's not justice. Okay. It's revenge that people use to then hide under the term of justice. Okay, but if someone hurts someone I love, you know, I yeah. want justice for that person. No, you want revenge. Okay. You, well, if you want to, if you want to mask revenge, but I'm not. I'm, okay, let me say. This no, no, way. no, because you're going to be. Not, a, hold on, I'm, let me say it this way. I'm not just going to say, "Oh gosh, what made you do that?" I'm not just going to let it go. They got to be punished. I didn't say let it go. But look at look at how you're charged up. They got to be punished. Look at look at how your face gets all. He goes from all smiley, like super scrunched up. They got to be punished. That's vengeance, man. You're not solving anything. You're just adding more negativity to the system. Wait, wait, listen to this. Listen, I'm charged up about everything, man. When I got a smile about No, but no, 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 no. But this is important. No, no, no. This is important because you, you take somebody who's loving and kind and, and awesome and spreading generosity like you are. They and to heaven. They cannot hurt you. No, but no. <laughs> you don't, you're not solving the problem. You're not solving the problem. Somebody runs me over. You're not, send them to jail, you're not solving a problem. You wanna do me a service? Hey, figure out what's causing people to have drunk driving problems in the first place and, and, and solve that. That's okay, actually gonna be a good honor. I agree, so we, we gotta work on a bigger issue and there's so many of them out here, it's, it's a myriad of them. But, but that particular person that did that to you, it, it's gotta be justice. Yes, after you get vengeance out of your system and realize that you're coming from a better place. Okay, so okay, so let's say no, but most I, people don't. Like people can't do that. Nobody, nobody operates that way. I'm not 
saying I'm not saying be a vigilante. There's laws out here. We we still should follow the law. I'm not saying be a vigilante. I'm not saying that, but I'm not going to just sit there and like, oh, okay, um, maybe that person had a heart. Maybe that person was had a hard life growing up, and and they took it out on Evan. I'm like, no, that person still needs to face justice. Come on. Once you get vengeance already, like Zan, the tone and the vibe is wrong. You're living okay. in poison. Okay, I, I, I'm confused. I'm totally confused. And, and maybe I'm not the only one. Let me go check the chat. Maybe I'm not the only one confused because justice and mercy, I mean, you say mercy like forgiveness? Is that your interpretation? My interpretation would be kindness. Even after someone mm -hmm. did a bad act, well, that's when you need to show the most kindness. So a person can rob a bank and you still got to show kindness? Yes, he deserves some kindness. It doesn't mean that he can't go to jail. So those guys that, that they, they, they shot up. Dan, Sandy, what? Look, Dude, look, it's Sandy, what? Look, little children. Little it's, children. Dan, you want, Dan, 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 you want to change this person's life? You want them to reform? You want to solve this from happening again? What does the world need? It's more kindness. It's more kindness. It's not more punishment. I mean, like, it's it's no different than, like, somebody, like, leaving a hateful comment on your feed. But that's nothing, Drew. That's oh, that. Yeah, I know it's not. I, I know it's nothing. But, I'm talking it, about but, but the, it, it's it's just the same thing at a different scale. No, no, no. Uh, you can you can leave a, a, a bad comment on here, be disrespectful. I mean, I could block you, but I'm not gonna like, oh my God, spit on my energy going after you. No, 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 no. I'm talking about someone who broke the law, who are, who is a criminal, who did something bad, heinous act. Mm -hmm. They have to be punished from justice and not vengeance. But if you're saying that justice is vengeance, then no, that's what, I, justice? no, I'm saying people are triggered. Like even in you, even in how you're responding, how you're reacting, no, you're you triggered. Know you know what? Because I hate to see bad things happen to good people. I, I Listen, it. I'm with you. But the but so then solve the problem, Zan. Solve the problem. Throwing the book and throwing somebody in a hole doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't solve the problem. It just creates more. Like you, now, you're 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 not going to reform that person, for sure, right? Just punishment's not going to refor reform that person. But what, look, but, but, look, hold on, but look at what they did. I hear you. So, because of what they did, for whatever reason, regardless of their background, for it, it, it could be a well, it, it doesn't. You did. You you made. We were talking about free will earlier. Mm -hmm. They chose to do that. No one forced them to take a gun and go in and premeditate and, and murder the children, or, or, or keep on drinking and get behind the car and then and then you know. Uh, we're not arguing that, dude. Th of course, did I say they were? Well, like, where's? Uh, we're not talking about that. Oh, okay, okay. So since you're saying I'm tricky, you know what? Yeah, I don't know. You, I don't know how many, how much you guys believe in the Bible and all that kind of stuff. But you, I can throw this at you. Don't God talk about a righteous anger? Uh, last time I checked, yes, yeah. he's, he's about, you should, you should, he's about you should, mercy. Hate, you should, but you should hate evil, though. Well, I don't. I don't, think, I, I, I don't think there is anywhere in the Bible where Jesus said, he, "Thou shalt hate." <laughs> <laughs> I like, well, we, we don't, hold on. I mean, if, if he's the son of God and God hates evil, Jesus hated evil. He, he hated bad. That's why he fought against the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Well, but like at the end of the day, though, like the question that I would have is like, so, so somebody who gets themselves to a point where like they're going to be committing something like premeditatively, like. Nine times, actually, no, I would say probably 100% of the time, it's mainly a function of environment more than it is a function of that person at birth decided that they were going to make that, do that act. You know what I mean? Right, but who, there could be a lot of extenuating circumstances. Exactly. They, they could be off their medication. They could be, they could just be, you know, um, you know, a spawn. They, it, could, it could be a lot of different reasons, okay? They could be drunk. They could be on drugs. But listen, at the end of the day, the person did commit the act. Okay, nobody said nobody's saying they didn't. So yeah. I, all 
I'm saying is that justice or mercy, I'm not going to say that, oh, wow, let me hold your hand and understand why you did what you did. No, you committed the act. So you, there should be punishment, and then you can then you can do that understanding later. Once you get them some re, uh, get, get them some uh, real, but I'm not even saying you're, you're, what they call it. The, Zane, um, Zane, you're losing on both fronts. Like you're not making yourself any happier. You're carrying negativity and poison around. So, you, so you, Zane the man, is not making yourself any happier. Like spending any time focused on going after people for whatever. And listen, people have screwed me over. Nobody's thankfully killed anybody in my family, but I've been screwed over a whole bunch. Uh, really? I, you? Yeah. You're so people wow. screw me over on business deals. I mean, I've been screwed over a bunch of in, in things, and. I know a lot of people who spend all their time going after people to, to make it right. I think it's a total waste of time for your own, even just for your own sanity, well-being for you, just for your own mental health, punishing somebody versus moving on with your life is, is always the right answer for you. Now, okay. you want to, no, hold on. That's just, that's just for you, Zane Demand. If you okay, want to actually see. solve the problem, you want to, you want to make people better business entrepreneurs, treat people nicer, uh, not uh, w like whatever case, drunk driving, murder, ripping people off. You want to, you want to actually solve the problem. Then you have to get to the root of the problem. Throwing the book at somebody is not going to get to the root of the problem. It doesn't mean that you, they don't go to jail for what they, okay, what they did. Example. I, gave, I gave an example when it comes to me. Okay, so we, since we put the spotlight on me. I remember I was a young guy in college. Um, my first year, was my first year in college? Yeah. I had my car that I just got. I just got my car. It was parked in front of my father's house because I was in the bedroom, you know, asleep, we were asleep. My car was parked in front of the house. Some guy, and I'm assuming maybe the drunk driver, but they came and we just heard this big loud noise, boom! And so the person knocked, knocked my car in the parking, you know, on the parking space. They knocked my car from the front of the house all the way over to the front of the other house. Just pretty, it, it, it was, it was, it was destroyed. And when I came, my father said, hey, find out what's going on out there. I went outside and the person just knocked my car to the next yard. Now. I turned around, this is what I did. I kid you not, I was 17 years old. I turned around, went back into my house, into my bedroom, and I got on my knees and I asked God to bless that person and make sure that person is still safe and, 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 and not injured. Okay. Right? That's exactly what I did. That's how I normally handle everything. Was I angry at that? I, was, I didn't like that my car was, but I know I could replace my car. But I want to make sure that person was okay. For that person to have done that, they must have been in a messed up state. Now that's how I handle that. So to this day, I have no whatever against anyone who did that. But even when someone's mean to me, and like you said earlier about you being messed over, I've had people take, I mean, I'm doing you a, a nice guy, people take advantage of you. So I don't, I'm a big believer in, in forgiveness and letting things go. And I don't even let it get to a point where I'm angry or, or hurt for, for anyone. There's no one on this earth I'm angry at or have hate for. Uh, I just don't believe in hating people. Now that's me personally, because I just believe in living a life of gratitude and, and still putting forth good energy. But at the same time, there's stuff that happens in the world that when someone does something, if there's not, um, if there's not legal justice, not only does it continue to encourage that person, it encourages other knuckleheads out there who might say, oh, there's no punishment, let me go do the same thing. But punishment is not the problem. Punish like how many people are in, in jail in America? Like punishment doesn't solve the problem, Zan. Like it doesn't solve your your mental uh, handling of the situation, and it also doesn't solve the problem. Like it is to Drew's point, environmental. You want to fix it? Germany, I think, said something about it's why it's so important for mothers to get more support. Like you want to solve the problem? That's how you solve the problem. Well, hold on. Let's let's do this. Let's, let's let's look at all these quick. So listen, here. Zane. Let, let me let me give, let me walk you through it. So I had actually I don't even think we called the police. I had I was in Vegas, uh, not Vegas. Before I got to Vegas, I was in L.A. And we had uh, we parked our 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 suburban in a private underground gated parking lot, and uh, woke up in the morning. And all of our stuff was stolen. What? Private gated. You know, uh, nice place. And it must have been an inside job because I mean, how did they get the the key all of all of our camera gear all of our like everything for the road we, we brought our luggage up but you know our suitcases but all of our gear was gone 
woke up, emptied, cleaned out the back of a, of a Suburban, right? So like giant car and listen, bad on me, not paying more attention. Um, I thought it was safe. And it was the only place where we didn't actually, um, it was the only place where we uh, didn't bring up our stuff, okay? Okay. Um, I, we didn't call the police because we were gonna leave in, in the next day anyway, and we wouldn't be able to stick around to do it. Um, we were on the fence with it too anyway. Um, but really, I just hope that, I, I wish that some of the, the, the two or three guys who robbed our car could have come to my seminar that was happening the next day, right? It's like, as soon as you can get to a place of mercy and forgiveness is better for you. Is it, is it, is it better? So is it better for them? Do they go off and do anything? No, they, they got a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff. Great. But for me, it's better for me to move on, forget about them, hope they had a good time with my gear, hope maybe that buys them something to pay for rent for that month, um, and hopefully it's not just spent feeding an addiction or something, right? But it's better for me to move on and forgive and have mercy as soon as possible, right? For my own mental health. Now, if I really cared about poverty and robbery, throwing the book and going hardcore after these guys isn't going to solve the LA robbery problem. Like if that's what I really want to solve, there's a lot more things that I could be doing with my time, effort, energy, resources, money to try to solve that problem than to go hardcore after these guys. So in either way, it doesn't help. It doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve me mentally, emotionally. It doesn't actually solve the problem on a big scale. It's vengeance, right? And if, I got these guys. You did this to me. I got you back. Prioritizing going after one guy or two guys versus actually solving the problem or my own mental happiness, like the only argument you have is vengeance. Because if you actually solve the problem, you want to solve inner city robbery in LA, okay. throwing, th throwing two or three guys in jail for, for stealing from a suburban, doesn't, doesn't do a, a drop of difference, Dan. Nothing, zero. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't solve the problem. And for my own mental happiness, it definitely doesn't solve the problem to try to go after these guys. And now, instead of going on my tour, I could have canceled my tour. I could have not come to Vegas because okay. I, I got, it's justice. I got to show these guys. I got to make it right because that's what's right. Poisoning myself, not showing up to the rest of my, I could have done that, but it's okay. the wrong move. And so the more people can actually do that, I think we, it, we lead to a happier world. We lead to happier cities, countries, world. So if you had to, the question was prioritizing what's more important, mercy or justice? Okay. It's mercy all day long. Does it mean justice is zero? No. Okay. But, but justice, AKA vengeance is never, is never, is never. What's more important, light or dark? I always go light. How do you lead, right? The, the great leader, how do you lead? Through fear or love? A lot of the mafia guys will say fear and I'll always pick love. It's just a philosophical difference. Okay, I don't equate justice and vengeance together. I think you you mix those two together. No, no, I, I'm I'm not. I'm actually telling the truth because people say justice, and even when you said justice, you can see the look of vengeance in your face. That's not justice. That's not okay. Here's the law, and we have to just go follow the law, and here's why the laws are in place. Like, no, that person did this. We got to get them. That's not justice. That's vengeance. Uh, if, if so, okay, I, I remember we was uh, when we was in California. Well, even here in Vegas. Someone, we're on the freeway, somewhere, someone rear-ended us. We pulled to the side. I'm not angry at that person. I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? The cops show up, and the, the cop give them a ticket because they rear-ended us. That's justice. I'm not angry at that person. There's no revenge, but the person can't just hit you from behind and like, okay, sorry, bye-bye, and they go. That's all I'm saying. There should be consequences for your actions. Uh, and nobody said there's no consequences, but you so, get to choose how not, you want to leave. I, 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 didn't, I didn't hug the girl, but I, I, wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind hugging the girl. Like, are you, first I was like, are you okay? And she was shaking on her. I said, no, you, you okay, you okay. Don't worry about the car. You okay. And she was okay. The cops showed up. We didn't have to call the cops. They just showed up and she got taken in the whole nine yards and whatever. But, but I wasn't angry and mad at her. Me and, me and my wife, who was okay, we had our seatbelts on. And? So now, so it's, so, but when I'm saying justice, I'm saying that, she she committed an act 
and we have laws, and the, the law that she got ticketed for that, and that's justice. But me, I'm not trying to take the law in my hand. I'm not angry. I don't want revenge. Okay, so, so Zane, what's more important, mercy or justice? So are you saying, well, well I would say mercy, but okay. I would say justice too. No, but that, that's not two. <laughs> Because, because it's what's more important. That's why it's a it's a it's a yes or no question. If you're saying mercy is she hits you from behind, she rear ends you, and she's like, oh okay, sorry, and she just dries off. That's not justice. She has to. She has. There should be some punishment for nobody, what she did. That's there, against the law. Hits nobody from behind. Hold on. Nobody said that if she drove her away that that was justice. Nobody said but that. That's all, but that's all I'm saying. That's that's the whole. That's my whole thing. Yeah, but that if, well, what's more important, Zan? Mercy or justice? Well, I think mercy and love is more important than anything. Well, then there we go. And we're back to the top. Okay, so yeah, but I believe that, but I thought, so you'd never, okay. Okay, because I I don't, okay. Because I I do believe, but you're saying as far as the world solution. Both, on the the micro and the macro. Say uh, again? On the micro and the macro, both. The global solution, you want if you want to stop people from rear-ending you, throwing the book at this girl doesn't do anything. Like, you should be spending your time educating people, I investing into... Ac- ac- accidents happen. Okay. And, and my only thing is... Maybe she was on the phone while she was doing that, right? right? right. Like, no, no, no. It look, it look, dude, when it comes to accidents th- and mistakes, mad mercy. But there are people out there that do stuff intentionally. Yeah hurt other people they do stuff intentionally to terrorize and and and, and maim other people mercy for them yes and no and no justice there's not no justice if you okay, prioritize so, okay hold on okay this is a good example so i know you're not saying this i don't even want to use that person name because that, that really get people riled up let me think of somebody else um charlie charles manson mercy for charles manson it doesn't mean that he doesn't go to jail zan okay so but yes like if you want to actually solve look if you want to solve the problem of serial killing people look at charles manson as a hero if if you like people in circles he's a hero I know, <laughs> but but if I would love, I w- you want to actually solve the problem? How about you sit down with Charles and actually understand him and actually get him on side with education? So, so you think that someone like a Charles uh, Charlie Man- Manson can be re- re- rehabilitated? He can change. He can become a good guy all of a sudden. Uh, I think everybody's a good person. It's not all of a sudden. I think then because you're human, you're good. good person, then, then, then what's the, then, then how, how is there evil in the world? Ah, now we're getting somewhere, Zen, because people are in pain. Have you never done anything stupid or hurtful to somebody because you were in pain? No, no, I don't believe in doing that. No, no, no. Of course you have. You no, haven't, no. you haven't yelled at somebody. You haven't. Okay. I'm not saying you killed somebody, but you did no, things no. that, uh, okay. have you done things out of, a painful moment that you're not proud of, of course. Anything if I, big? If I, if I call someone a name, that, that's the most I've ever done someone is call them a name. I will never put my hands on anyone. I, I didn't see you hit anybody. I didn't see you killed anybody, hopefully. <laughs> oh, no, I don't believe in doing that. No, no. But, but I, even, even it's out of pain. Where I live my life, I won't even argue with anyone. I, 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 if somebody wants to argue, they, 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 they won't get it. I don't believe in arguing. Great. We've all done things out of pain that we're not proud of. And when you pile on tons of pain and tons of pain and tons of pain, it leads to either taking that out on yourself, which is depression and suicide and drugs and attempted suicide and everything, or you take it out on other people. Well, you, got, you, got, you have a lot of people here that agree with you, Evan. Well, you, have, you got people on both sides in here. This is This is... Hey, this was a, a great conversation because you had people on both sides. Some people say, "Hey, um, you are confusing justice with vengeance." Um, they did, they respectfully disagree, but you got OS Campbell Sue saying uh, there have been hundreds of uh, killed in the past by drunk driving. The previous punished can't 
set the tone for everyone and prevent others from drinking and driving, be proactive. He said, Evan isn't saying they shouldn't be punished. He's saying that you personally shouldn't devote your time to seek revenge upon another person. That's pure poison. I'm not even saying seek revenge. I'm just saying that they could be, they should be just, they should go to, the law should punish them. There should be justice and they, not me go after them first. I'm not going after nobody personally. Are you kidding? That's why, that's why I pay my taxes. <laughs> no. So um, they said that Evan is interpreting the word incorrectly. Um, that you're talking about revenge, not justice. He says, um, did you guys know that the English language used to have, used to have cases? Okay. Justice is justice, revenge is revenge. Oh, uh, and this is for me, I guess he said, he said, he never said not send them to jail, Zan. Don't devote your days to hatred and revenge. Do I've never in my life hated anyone? Never, ever. That's that, I just don't have that, that's a gene or, or bone, I don't have, that in me, it just, it just doesn't exist. So, so now imagine everybody living that way on a macro. It's a better place. I was, I was going to say the the fictitious person who killed Evan. You were pretty, you were pretty vengeful. Well, dude, I, no, I was, I was. <laughs> okay, okay, then, then OS Campbell Soup would agree with you. He said, "Zan, brother, you need to set emotion aside and listen. That's the only way we can make a better tomorrow." Dude, I'm just telling you who I am right now and where I'm at. If someone hurts Evan, dude, you can even if you talk about Evan, I'm coming, I'm, I'm, I'm coming after you. And, and listen, but no, 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 that's the biggest dishonor you can ever do to my legacy or name. Talk about Evan. Like, I, I, no, that's I, I want, I want, I'm gonna put in my will that I want Nina to come and and remind you to show kindness. Man, if someone bad mouthed you, Evan. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. Because you don't I'm have gonna, understanding. No, you're. You're being reactive how, to their how pain. How someone bad my dude? After all, look at all the good that you do. And so they, 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 dude, they, but this is why you're not listening or understanding or trying to have empathy. I told you they're in pain. They're suffering. They're struggling. It's not even about me. There's, they've had something. Maybe their their dad just jumped off the bridge and they're coming now and taking it out on me on YouTube. Like people are struggling. But you give them a right to do that, dude. You have it no doesn't right. matter. No, but like it doesn't matter if they have a right to do it. I mean. The, Technically, they do with free speech. They could, they could do, they can leave a negative comment and come after me. But, but the fact that you don't understand is the problem. Why can't they? Why did? Why does somebody who puts out so much positive content? How can somebody go negative after them? You have to understand. If you want to be a great confidence coach, you have to understand that people are struggling, are in pain, that they're good people, that people are good. They want to serve. They want to help. And so why do they do stupid things? Because they're in a crap ton of pain. You want to solve the problem? Help them out of that pain. And that's one person. Help, help a million people out of that pain, you start to have a big ripple effect. Ooh-wee. Mm. Hey, you guys, comment. Let, you, let me know because this is not going over good because he says, um, the, the Daniel Ty says, kindness and understanding first. Um, somebody else says, um, Evan, um, you're going to say to the judge, he or she is on the revenge business. Um, O.S. Campbell Sue says, no, forgive and fix the problem itself. If you need to transfer your emotions somewhere, justice is not the way. Okay, yes. look, look, it's to Gemini's the comment way. there, I think it's easy to be kind when there is nothing bad happening to your, your, your loved ones. And I think you're 100% right. I think you're right. I think she wrote, it's easier to be kind when there is nothing bad happening to you or your loved ones. And you're right. And this is the higher standard that we need to try to hold ourselves to. If something happened to somebody super close to me, I hope, I hope, I hope I would have the courage to do as I'm saying right now. I can't promise. I can't promise I'll go to a land of pain and then react negatively and in a way that I'm not proud of. And this, this is what a lot of people label as justice and they're stuck in vengeance mode and they're, you're just stuck in your own pain. So I hope, I hope, I hope something happened to, to somebody close to me that I would have the courage to be able to forgive and have mercy. I hope, I, don't, I can't promise, but that's the higher standard that it'd be great if we can all hold ourselves to. Well, well, well. I, if, if if this is what you're saying, because I am not there yet, because I am super positive and super love everybody, but no one 
No one, no one bothers Evan, man. Are you kidding me? No, but you. Oh, okay, how about this, Evan? You and I, we're out. Okay, we're out and about. You and I. Last we're example. Out. Last example, because I gotta go too. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. Let me see. No, no. Uh, last example. Tell you. Tell your dinner example. But let's say you and I went out and about. And I don't know someone decided to push up on you. I'm not gonna sit there and just like, oh, I'm gonna be very kind. Like, no, I'm like, dude, you better get back. Don't touch him. I mean, come on, man. I'm not gonna sit there like, oh, I'm gonna be kind and understand that you just had a bad day or, or you know, whatever, whatever. But then, then, you, you, then, you push up on Evan, man. You, you push. You then you don't. Push up on me. You're then, not, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna go down like then, that. Then you don't know me. Then you don't know me because you know what? The greatest thing you could ever do for me. Is, is, is go find that person and spend two hours helping them have more confidence because the person who just pushed me is the least confident person in the world. And what they need now is a confidence coach. <laughs> You're basically saying like, I refuse to coach people. Dude, he, dude, he just, he, he just, he crossed the line. No, no that's, dude, that, that's barely a line. I mean, I don't care. He can't put his hands on you, man. He just can't put his hands on you, Evan. I don't care. That, but that, that's gonna, I'm gonna let that ruin uh, my night with my friends and the man. Dude, that's that's gonna ruin my night. Hell no, that's gonna ruin my night. That's not gonna go, dude. You, you just gotta, you gotta you stop being triggered. Like you gotta stop being triggered. The, the, the love and kindness you show people on a smaller level is now where you need to grow in a bigger level. Like that's not even that big a deal. Okay. Somebody want, I, I love it, but if you actually want to show love, go be their confidence coach. And then, and then have them share their story a year later on this stream to say, you know what, I did this really stupid thing and guaranteed he's got some story about how he was in a ton of pain. And then Zan was the only person who ever actually listened to me. And now this guy goes and spends, like if that guy then goes his spend, spends his time teaching, educating, leading others, telling his story, you wanna solve the problem? That's solving the problem. Not punching him in the face or throwing him in jail for the night. That's how you That's solve right. the problem. I think they said they got you figured out, Evan. They said you're a Buddhist. Well, it's just it's just perspective because that actually you think that that's gonna it, just play that one out you think that pushing the guy or you're gonna you're not gonna pound his face in but you think that pushing a guy and saying back off is like the right thing to do but if you just compared those scenarios where now if you said hey you know what you take that guy and, and you sit with him for an hour and help him have more confidence and you coach him and then he comes back and now he spends the rest of his life leading, teaching, educating, training, which one does any man actually want? I don't want them to hurt or harm you, period. But, but I don't mind. so solve I the don't problem. Mind. Solve the I problem, go mind. help them. Yeah. Because then that guy's gonna go help a thousand more people. Okay, okay, we, let me get, at least get one person to get, let them get their last question in real quick. Um, Evan, what is one behavior that has led to your success? Mercy. More mercy. <laughs> no, but honestly, compassion, understanding, empathy, listening. You wanna be a good coach? You wanna be a good motivator? You wanna be a good leader? You, you, gotta, you gotta pick what side you're gonna be on. Evan, you a saint, man. They should call you Saint Evan. <laughs> you a saint. <laughs> I'm not perfect by any stretch. I just have a higher threshold than I think than most people. Again, if something happened to Nina, I don't know that I would have the, I don't know. I don't know that I could be that Zen. I don't know. I mean, I hope, but I don't know. Well, now you know how I feel because the people that I love and I really care about. No, but you got You got it. You got to raise, the, you got to raise the bar of like people get triggered because they got cut off in a, in a, in traffic. Right. No, 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 no. You cut me off in traffic. I wish, I'm wishing you the best when you get to your, your destination safely. But you're talking about physically touching me, my woman, the people I love. That's a problem. You know, that's a problem. So we came back to mercy being more important than justice. Zan agreed. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what he said. But, but, but one last thing, Evan, what about your own, your own personal self-respect? Your own... No, this is it. That's how you do it. First, no, no, that's not self-respect. That's like, that's being an animal. That's not self-respect. No, how is that self-respect? No one has a right to harm you or hurt you. That's self-respect? I think, I think 
choosing to finally be the bigger person and actually be the only person to have empathy and understanding and kindness, kindness is where you should, should develop your self-respect. Judge your self-identity, self-respect by how much love and kindness you show today. How about that? You know what? This is good. I think we had good. He says, OS Camel Soup, which I totally agree with you throughout this entire stream, said, I am inspired by both of you on this conversation. It opened my eyes. Thank you, guys. See there? And Gemini says, I think we need to stand up for our loved ones. You can't worry about the macro sometimes because the macro doesn't care for the micro. That doesn't sell the micro either, Gemini. Going after and chasing somebody down doesn't actually make you feel happier. Okay, I think that might, you know, I think it's, this was a great discussion. <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not where you're at on this, Evan, and I think it's okay to agree and disagree, and, and, and we all have our own, you know, it, values and stuff. It, it's, but, it's, um, it's, it's black and white, and it'll keep showing up. You, you will never find me on the side of, the, of darkness. Like, this is a love-hate thing. This is a love-pain thing, and you'll never find me on the other but, side. Okay, you, you have a son, right? Mm -hmm. Your first responsibility is to protect your son. If someone's harming your son, you just don't say, hey, let's be other. No, you protect your son first. As a father, even as a husband, your first okay, responsibility. Of course. Like, Zane, if somebody is holding a knife to my son or is, is punching my son, I'm not going to just go up, hey, excuse me, mister, what are you doing here? Are you having a nice day? Like, did your mother treat you right when you were four years old? Like, yes. Yes. You, you jump in and you try to, you try to, the first step is to diffuse the situation, right? Like, right. Okay. but, but this, that's a big difference. And then holding on to it for a I'm week, a month, a year. No, but that's, that's what it is. Like some people, that, that's what going after justice is. Well, you let that go, but, but, but still, you, you, that person that did that to your son or to your wife, the law, the authority should come in and handle that situation. I, oh, nobody said they can't. Yeah, so, and that's all I'm saying. I mean, look, I'm not saying you, you, you think about that person, you hate that person. I'm not, no, I don't believe in that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that justice needs to be applied to that situation so that person cannot do it to somebody else. Because even even after you guys fix that situation, now you got to get no, 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 therapy. That, that, that's the, that's for that's your, that's for Zane, that's not the thinking. Like Zan, no, that's it's an error in logic. How many people commit a crime and then commit another crime, 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 or they've seen their father go to jail, and so they commit a crime. Like that doesn't solve the problem. Okay. They need coaching, dude. Coaching is the world's answer. Okay, so let me ask you a question. This is a good one. I'm going back to Evan Pagan. Now you can ask him about this next time you talk to him. Um, is everybody coachable? Yes. With enough patience, empathy, and understanding. Yes, Evan would agree. I think you would disagree. No, 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 no. He just doesn't have enough patience. With enough patience, empathy, and understanding. I, 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 think, he, I, I think he would disagree, and I would agree with him disagree. It's not. I could say with enough patience, empathy, and understanding, everybody is coachable. Zen, this is Zen, Zen. This is what you have to get, dude. You have to get this because whoever is more confident wins. Confidence is transferable. Yes. To be a great coach, all you have to do is believe more confidently in a in a brighter future for the person than they believe in themselves. They don't even have to believe in the future themselves. They just have to believe that you believe it. They have to believe that you believe in their greatness and then they'll change. And some people get it right away. Some people get it right away. Uh, me hanging on to this is, is me having more patience and understanding and empathy for you and, and hopefully value for everybody else who's paying yeah, attention and listening. Though. See, I, I, want, I want the coaching. I want to get better. No, but this, this block, this limiting belief, it doesn't mean that everybody, it doesn't mean that you can coach everybody. And that's, what's Eben, that's what Eben is saying because to take one person and spend three months trying to coach them to get to step one is, is not a great return on investment. 
Okay, I think what happened to Sanders, and you can ask them for this clarification. This, I, I, this is a distinction. I think there are people who can be coached, who are coachable, but there are some people that can't be coached because they need therapy. Some people are so traumatized or so- Zane, coaching is therapy. They need therapy, Co therapy coaching, is coaching is therapy. different things. No, it's coaching is therapy. Coaching is empathy, understanding, and patience which always involves their story. You can't dive into somebody's uh, history and then help them get more confident if you're not a therapist. If you wanna be a good personal trainer, you're a therapist. You wanna be a good coach, you're a therapist. Most of personal training is therapy. It's not teaching people how to do push-ups and doing meal plans, it's therapy. Okay, so I've turned people down, and I, I would say, I don't know how many, a good handful of people. It doesn't I, mean that you shouldn't turn them down. I'm with you. If I did something wrong here. I, I, I've had a, a handful of people, and, and mostly guys for whatever reason, but they will come to me for coaching, and as I get more into that story, they have some other like drug addictions. I said, no, dude, you need to go get therapy first. I cannot coach you because you still have these other addictions. And so they need, they need some other... Even there's a, even a handful of women. There's a very few that might have had some. Don't don't call it there. It's all coaching. You don't have the tools to necessarily help them out of their I'm addiction. No, no. Yes, you are. You have to be. You want to be a coach? You have to be a therapist. No, I'm a coach. No, no. That's what a coach does. It's all emotional. You think just giving your your sheet of the five P's and then they're gonna run with it? No, dude. It's 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 therapy. It's it's all empathy and understanding the person who's in front of you and how to move them. That's okay, it. Period. Okay, yeah, go on, check this out. Check this. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I like giving metaphors and analogies. Check this out. Football tonight, right? That's a head coach. You know, and you got offensive coaches, defensive coaches. If the player gets hurt on the field. He cannot be coaching anymore. They, they got to take him. He broke his leg, whatever. They got to take him and put him in rehab. They cannot coach him anymore until he get out of rehab. That's therapy. Zane, coaching is mental. It's a mental game. I'm not suggesting you could coach uh, my, my five-year-old niece or whatever how to slam dunk a basketball, right? Like, that's not, it's not possible. It's not a physical thing. When I, when I broke my neck, I couldn't just get up and do it. It's not coaching. Coaching is mental. Everything you do is mental. But, but it's physical too, right? Because there's training involved. We gotta get people to do the thing. But but what you just said, you gotta get people to do the thing. It's the mental, the mental, the mental. Okay, go ahead. It's the mental. I mean, if I coach someone to drive a car, for example, they're afraid to get behind the wheel. Okay, mentally, I gotta get inside them. You can do this. I get them to believe you can do this. But that's the the, the other side is that's the mindset. The other side is the skill set. I gotta get them behind the wheel and actually drive the car so they can have confidence driving the car. They have to do the thing. Sure. So it's, it's mental, it's mental, like you said, it's mindset, but it's also skill set. They have to actually physically do the thing and have those skill sets because confidence is mindset and skill set. Sure, but it's, okay. it's, it's mostly mindset. 80%. Sure. So in almost any field, yes, if you want to be a personal trainer, it's not just having somebody sit on your couch, but the reason why people aren't working out or and are eating why are people eating unhealthy we know how to eat healthy we know what to do we don't do it because we have emotional baggage and that's what a personal therapist a, a personal trainer slash therapist goes through like you are in the therapy business I, 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 oh man I, I, oh I but you have business. to be don't call it therapy but but empathy understanding patience for any leadership role anytime you want to coach i see a coach as a leader uh, as a, in an organization as a mentor it's all the same stuff it's understanding I mean, the person in front of you i know I, I, I think there's all those what you just said are different elements of coaching but 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 specifically the title of a therapist and a coach is two different things. I don't, I don't care about the titles, Zan. I want you to get results. You can have your certified whatever on a piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. Like but, you, you, but, part, but part of therapy, wouldn't you agree, um, Evan, part of therapy is medication and, 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 and some other things like that, that, that coaches, we don't, pres we don't prescribe medication. We don't, we, don't, we don't prescribe a person um, 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 sure. going through... Um, no, 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 that's fine. You have your areas of expertise and you can't coach somebody how to be a great skier. Okay. Great. But to say that, that there's no therapy involved in being a coach is just wrong if you want to be a good coach. Like you will never get to where you want to be or have the impact that you want to have if you don't learn how to be a... Like therapy, if you want to 
move people to do anything. If you want to understand how to shift somebody's mindset in anything, you have to understand where they came from. You have to understand their story. You have that's 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 therapy. You have to understand their story. You have to understand their blocks. You have to understand their limiting belief system. All of that. Okay. All of that. Okay, it's part of the job. I have a different name for that. That's called being a psychologist. Okay, great. But not therapist. Great. Be a psychologist then. You, said, you have to have all those elements and those skills to be able to dig deeper into a person to get a person to reveal things so you can help them. You got to get them so they can, you got to get a person to share and, and, and so you can serve and help solve those issues. I totally agree with that. Um, Great. So that's how you, that's how everybody's coachable. You want to call it psychologist? I'll, I'll throw uh, psychologist, therapist, coach, leader, mentor. It's all the same thing. It's empathy and understanding and patience. It's all the same thing with a little bit of different skill sets to actually teach the next thing. But it's understanding the human in front of you. All of those are the same thing. So there, therefore, you get good at that, everybody's coachable with enough patience, understanding, and empathy. Everybody's coachable. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. There might be some people that you just never give up on because that's your son. And so you never give up coaching your son. But clients, you're, you're seeing black and white what Eben is saying. And yes, there are some clients who, who will take eight years to, to take the journey that somebody else can get there in one, one day. Like they'll just do it. Mm. So well, guess, that person, yeah, 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 that yeah, person's not coach. They're still coachable. You just don't either have the skills to help them, or you don't want to put the patience in to for it to pay off. Well, what about a person's own free will? Sometimes some people just don't want to. They just don't want it. But dude, that's what that's what a great coach. Everybody wants to grow, and everybody wants to serve. Period. There's no human that doesn't want to grow and doesn't want to serve. They don't know how to do it, and they're buried under under miles of pain. And that's okay. that's where you put your psychologist, therapist, coacher, you mentor. Me you, got, you got me on that because, dude, I'm telling you, I've, 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 I've been watching almost the top people out there from the Brendan Bouchard, Tony Robbins. I mean, I tell you for real, and I'm being, I'm not even blowing smoke. You, you know, I'm being honest here. The two best people I see out there in coaching, the two best. And my, well, I say the three best, not two best, is you and Evan, Evan Pagan. You are the, like, the, I mean, I love what Brendan is doing. I love what Tony, Tony does some real deep stuff. I love what he does. Um, my man Ajit from over at Evercoach, he does a great job. But the two best people I've seen do what they do is you and Evan. Because again, I think one reason why is because the, your style of coaching, or both of you guys, is very interactive. You really know how to really dig deep into a person. Well, and, um, I mean, and I'm, I'm sure Tony does that with interventions and stuff like that. I know he does he use a lot of NLP or NAC, but 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 on a regular um, human level, like regular person level, when I see what you do and what what Evan does, I'm like, okay, I, I, I've got to, I want to be a combination of both of those. But but so that means I have to take in what you're saying because what you're saying when you say everyone's coachable, I'm like hold on, that doesn't fit, but. Okay, you, so as a human being, so they all have the potential to do that. That we're all born. So you have to, if they're not coachable, you have to believe that people don't want to grow and don't want to serve. Right, so you have to change that belief. Okay. No, 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 that's what you believe. You believe that there are some people who deep down don't want to grow and don't want to serve. I did up to this moment, so you just- to, Well, that's a say. huge, like, that's an eye awakening moment. Now, are there a tiny, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of people who have messed up brain chemistry and they enjoy killing people and stuff. Like the tiny, tiny, it's tiny like percentage balls. of people. Yes, but we're excluding those people, right? Like most, 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 most of the world, they wanna serve and they wanna grow. And if right. you feel like you're not serving and you're not growing, you hate your life and you'll take it out on yourself or you take it on other people. You're just on, you're buried under a mountain of pain from your, your upbringing, your childhood, your parents, your environment, your circumstances, all of it. So, so if you, if, too much talk, but, but my two takeaways real quick, my two takeaways here, which, uh, you know, which I, I kind of did a disservice because I couldn't really answer your question last week about, you said, what's your big, you know, aha moment for the week? I'm like, I got four of them. And movement makers kind of tied it all together. But even this back and forth interaction is amazing to me. But I'm on my two quick takeaways. Number one, and I'm not to work on these. 
One is everyone is coachable. It's better to have that belief and that, and that strong one or two percent that's not. It, it really, it really, it's not, it's not going to move the needle. And then number two, less than one percent. What was that? Less than one percent. Okay, the less one percent of the other psychopaths or the schizophrenics or the sociopaths. Okay, but um, and that's just because their brains messed up from whatever reason. But and then number two is I've got to focus more on mercy and justice, but mercy first. I don't think either of them are your problems. I mean. Uh, it doesn't happen that often in your life where people are being like screwed over and you have to stand up and take, this is the first time it's ever showed up. So if, if I'm you and I'm picking what to work on, that, that, if you just work on the first, it takes care of the second. If you believe everybody is coachable, everybody wants to grow, everybody wants to serve, and you actually believe that, you will default to mercy over justice. Okay, so now I'm going to use you, telling you in advance, I'm going to use you as my model, as my example, because you right now, you're the best person that, you're the best person that epitomizes this right now. And so you're going to, I know what you're going to tell me, but I want to hear it anyways. <laughs> I'm, you, you're going to say, Zan, I want you to start doing more IG live coaching, 20, 30 minutes or one hour. Which one? Whatever it needs. Like, this is why, if you actually want to get good at it, like I had to leave. I want to get, no, I want to get great at it. No, great. okay, but, but this is it, dude. This is, this, is, this is the superpower. I had to leave 18 minutes ago. I'm still here because I want you to get this because I love you and I will outpatience you. Like, it's just gonna, ha until you get this, I will stay on, I will answer every question, every objection, every what if, every story, until we get to the point where it's like, okay, I see it. Because other people would write this off and say, Zane's not coachable on this. <laughs> he's not listening, he's, he's set in his ways, this is just how it is, he's not coachable. No, no, Zane's coachable if you put in the time the patience, the empathy, and the understanding. So how long should a coaching session be? Honestly, depends on what the person needs. Yeah, but I'm also the kind of person that even if you did in 18 or 19 minutes ago, I'm gonna be, be reflective, like, you know what, let me see what he said. I know, that, no, no, I, I know, I, I'm not, I, I know you will. I'm, I want, I'm, I'm, I'm I know you will, you always do, you always do. And there's always tomorrow and the next day, but there's also momentum that you can create inside of a session that then supercharges the growth. You even just getting down to the point where everybody is coachable and people are good and want to serve. And when they're not, it's because they're in a lot of pain. Just, just hearing it again and again and wrapping your head around it. When you start to believe that more and more, maybe you believe that like 60% now or 70% now. Like when you get to that, that's your 99% default. It changes everything. So when you're coaching somebody, if you think this person's coachable, I just either don't have the skills to do it or don't have the patience to, to be here with them, to see this through, because my time might be better served helping 500 people get it instead of helping this one person get it. You, it doesn't mean now you have to go coach everybody. Just because they are coachable doesn't mean you go coach everybody. You still have to pick. The, the biggest shift with human beings is the belief system. If I can shift my beliefs to more like yours, then my behavior, because beliefs control behavior. 100%. If I can shift my beliefs to be more like yours, then I will behave more like you and get those same results and outcome. Because again, like I said, Dude, you and Evan are two of the best. 100%. You're number one for me. If I can become more like you, model you, and how you do it, I'm like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, woo, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna take me six months or a year, I'm like, I'm gonna be really, you, you, really good. You just actually have to believe that coaching is the answer. No, but there's other elements that you just mentioned too about the patience and, and, and. No, but that's coaching. And all that. that that's and, coaching, and, that's coaching, all that's coaching. And getting outside the word therapy, because I'm like, okay, that's for a therapist, not for a coach. No, but you, no, but you need to expand your definition of, of, what coaching is you want to call it psychology instead of therapy great but you still have that block you're all of it you're a mentor you're a leader you're a therapist you're a coach you're a psychologist all wrapped into one and once we break you down we're, you're going to be unleashed as the most confident human of all time right like that's the mindset going in and you can you can coach anybody with give, given enough patience empathy and understanding